welcome to my channel. I make a lot of smoothie bowls on my channel. If you are new here and you don't know that, I even came out with smoothie bowl merch, which actually isn't being sold right now or like anymore. I am working on something that might happen. I don't know. I'm not going to get into it too much, but stay tuned. And I love smoothie bowls. I think they're so fun to eat and to make, but every single time I feature them in a video, I get 700 comments asking me how to make them because a lot of people make them and they make them super liquidy. So I'm going to show you how I make my smoothie bowls and how to make the thickest smoothie bowl ever. And then I'm also going to be showing you three of my different favorite smoothie bowl combinations. I think I'm going to put recipe in the title because people would see that and know what I'm talking about more than me saying combinations. But I don't see it as a recipe because when I think of the word recipe, I think of something that I measure out certain ingredients. I don't measure any of this stuff. I just put in certain amounts that I want and you can change up all these ratios to make it taste however you want it to taste. So I'm going to make my first two combinations in this blender cup and then my third one will be in a normal big blender. I actually only ever make smoothie bowls in this and if you want to get a blender and you're intending to get it for smoothie bowls, I highly recommend getting one that has individual blender cups as it's much easier to make them. And I'll link down below a blender that I recommend. It's not the same one that I have because I have the older model of this blender. It is a newer model, but I think it should work just the same. It has blender cups. This video is not sponsored at all but that's just a blender that I use and would recommend. I'm gonna start with this one because this is the one that I make all my smoothie bowls in, and then I'll use this one for the last one just for people that don't have blender cups for an option for them. So today I'm gonna make a berry vanilla smoothie bowl. I have made this one so much. The other two smoothie bowls that I'm gonna be making is a greens smoothie bowl and a chocolate peanut butter one. So stay tuned for those. I think they're three very different flavors. And once you know like these tips in order to make a thick smoothie bowl. You can use whatever combinations you want. So the base for a good smoothie bowl is always frozen bananas. You can either buy store-bought frozen bananas or you can freeze your own, like peel them and then freeze them. I put this in a reusable bag. I put this in the freezer. Just putting the bananas in, I don't have a certain amount, but I've made this so much that I kind of just know how much to do. And it obviously all depends on how much you want to eat. I'll show you how much I end up with though. I have about half of it filled with frozen bananas because that's just the best way to do it. About half of it smooth frozen bananas. And then I'm going to add a couple pieces of frozen cauliflower. I know that might sound weird, but um, when you have 90% fruit and 10% cauliflower, you don't really taste it. It's just the same as adding spinach in to a smoothie. It's just for extra nutrients and not for flavor. And I just use normal store-bought frozen cauliflower. I'll put it in three pieces. So those are now in and now I'm going to add the berries. You can add an acai packet like this or frozen berries. I now have the berries in there. You could stop right there but it just does not taste as good as adding some protein powder. I always use vanilla protein powder, well for this one. And I'm using the brand Orgain because this is just one that I have. I like Orgain and Live Well Protein the best by far. But I only use half a scoop because I do it for flavor because I think that a whole scoop is just too grainy. So I'm using half a scoop of this. And then you need a plant milk. I'm using almond milk. You can use oat milk, cashew milk, soy milk, rice milk, whatever you want. I just choose almond milk and I do not measure this, but I'm gonna show you how much I pour because this is where people mess up. You can't put too much, but you have to put enough to be able to blend. So I have maybe a third of it full. This obviously will differ from blender to blender and I'm going to put up a measurement that I found works for all my smoothie bowls with the amount of liquid so follow this. I am now going to blend this. Let this now on. I shake it. I don't really know why I don't think it does anything but I just do that. And now I'm going to bring you over to my blender over here and I'll show you what I do. So right here is my blender. I stick it in, turn it on, and I'm going to press high. It's going to be super loud. And then I won't get it blending all the way right now, so I'll take it out and show you what I do. So as you tell, it started to blend right here. Now I always take off the lid. And now you can take a knife or a fork or a spoon 
and I just push everything down. And I don't know if you can tell from this angle. Yeah, it's not completely full. So I'm going to add some more frozen bananas because that'll just help it blend when there's more stuff. Since the blades are only right here, the blades need to be able to touch some fruit. Then I always hit container back down so all the fruit goes to the bottom. Then I'm going to put it back onto the blender to blend again. And now I'm going to take it back off and push it back all down again. Um, excuse me. What are you doing, camera? So that's really annoying. The camera didn't want not want to focus right there, but it just looked like a... Oh no, who's here? I got a package! Okay. Let's show you how to make this smoothie bowl. Actually, you kind of already know how now, because it's already done. But now I gotta decorate it, and that's the fun part, because now you can add cereal, fruit, coconut chips, nut butters, granola, cacao nibs, chocolate chips if you want. You can add whatever you want. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna add today, and this varies from day to day. This is just what I have today and what I want today. Now I'm gonna get a bowl and just put it in there. You know it's a good smoothie bowl when you can take a spoon of it, flip it upside down, and it won't come off. So today I'm going to top mine with mango and strawberries and granola, but feel free to do whatever you want. This is obviously not the important part that people probably watch this video for because I think everyone knows how to put stuff on top of a smoothie bowl. Many people just have trouble making them. Now I'm going to add on some granola. Then I finished it with strawberries and that is this finished bowl. So I'm sorry for the kind of uneven tripod music right now. I'm choosing the box that I got, but it's now time to eat and I'm actually gonna film the rest of the combinations on different days because smoothie bowls melt and I don't wanna have melted smoothie bowls because I'm not gonna make it through right now. So for you it'll be in two seconds when you see me next, but I'm actually gonna film it tomorrow. So I'll see you for my green smoothie bowl. Hello, and are you gonna focus on me? Thanks. Um, hello. I just got back from a hot yoga class and it is now 2 p.m. and I'm gonna eat lunch at like 12.30, so I'm pretty hungry and it is now the next day and I'm going to be making a green smoothie bowl. Smoothie bowls are amazing after a hot yoga class because I just did a workout in 90 something degrees. So starting out, bananas. Again, a smoothie bowl without bananas just is not good to me. So again, I put about the same amount as yesterday, like half of this or this is maybe about a cup of frozen bananas. And then I'm gonna add in a few pieces of frozen cauliflower. And then moving on to the greens, I'm going to be adding frozen spinach. I like spinach over kale because to me, spinach blends up finer in the smoothie bowls or smoothies in general as kale gets a little bit bigger pieces and I don't want that. So I'm going to put in as much spinach as I can. Um, this all depends on how much you want. I'm just trying to stuff it in as much as I can. Now it's full. And now we have a few powders that I wanna add. And for this, you can obviously add any type of greens powders you want. I'm going to be adding some barley grass juice powder and spirulina. I don't measure this either, but I would say that I put in maybe a teaspoon of spirulina and half a tablespoon of barley grass juice powder. I don't know, I just put spoonfuls in and obviously, this all depends on you, and I feel like the more you eat it, the more you can put in because you get more used to it. And then once again, I'm going to put in half a scoop of this Orgain vanilla protein powder. I am going to add some almond milk. This time, I'm actually going to measure it. I said about half a cup last time, and I feel like that is about how much. So let's pour in half a cup. I actually probably put in a little bit more than half a cup. I'm going to and half a cup and a little bit more. And then I added in some frozen mango. You can put however much of that you want in, but I always like frozen mango in green smoothie bowls. And I'm now going to put on the lid. Now let's bring you over to the blender and I'm gonna do the same thing as yesterday, blend it for a little bit, then, then push it all down, blend it again, then push it all down, then blend it, and that should be done. Normally I have to push it down twice, but if I can do it in one time, I'm always proud of myself. <laughs> And 
some more bananas. And now I'm gonna blend one final time and I think this will be the last one. <laughs> So you can now just add whatever you want. I'm gonna add kiwi because I wanna stick with the green theme. And then I'm also going to add on some puffed rice, which everyone always asks me where it's from. And I just get it in the cereal aisle of the grocery store. Found it in multiple grocery stores. Sorry if you hear my brother yelling at his video games. I ask him to be quiet about 700 times a day. And he still plays for hours a day yelling at the TV screen and spilling and he will never be quiet. So, you're just going to have to deal with it. As I do every single day of my life. I've already eaten a few bites of this because I'm hungry. But this smoothie bowl is really good because it tastes sweet. Obviously because it is sweet because of the fruit. But then you're getting in so many nutrients with all the greens. Um, I will see you all tomorrow when I make my chocolate peanut butter one in the big blender. Which I've never made smoothie bowls in the big blender. So we're going to see how that goes. Hello. So. It's now the next day and I'm going to be making the chocolate peanut butter flavored bowl, but this one is going to be in this blender. And I am very nervous for this because I have made smoothie bowls in this blender before, but that was when I was making it for multiple people, like three to four people. And I'm afraid that the contents of one smoothie bowl will not be enough for this to blend it well. But we're gonna see how this goes because I wanna do one in here so people without blender cups can know how to make one. And obviously with a blender like a Vitamix or Blendtec, I'm not sure if that's correct, but I know Vitamix for sure. They have blades at the bottom and then a tamper stick to push down everything. This one obviously doesn't, it has blades that go all throughout, so we're just gonna have to see how this goes. It's gonna be starting out with bananas again. You are probably not surprised about this because I put them in all of my smoothie bowls. These bananas are all stuck together. So, I have some bananas in here. I don't know which is the right amount because I've never made it in something like this, but again, I'm now going to add like three pieces of frozen cauliflower. Three, and then for the chocolate peanut butter flavor, I am using powdered peanut butter. You can use whatever brand you want. And I'm just gonna put in a huge heaping spoonful of that. And then for chocolate, I'm going to use a big spoonful of the Live Well Protein Raw Cacao flavor. That will go in there. And then for more chocolate flavor, I'm going to use some raw cacao powder. Oat milk today instead of almond milk because my almond milk is all out. Everything's on here, and now we're gonna go blend. I am scared this is not going to work, but we're just gonna have to see. It actually blended much better than I expected. Never mind, it is definitely not smooth. So I'm just gonna take my spoon and push it all down again. I think this actually worked. I'm gonna taste it. Pretty good. Not as smooth, but it works, definitely. I made less than I normally do. I normally definitely fill it to the top, but I was kind of not sure of how much I was adding in because it was in a different container. But on top of this bowl, I am going to be adding some chocolate granola. Then I'm also going to add a spoonful of peanut butter. Okay, that did not work like I planned. Just show my face, please. Hi, so I now have my smoothie bowl. It did end up working in the big blender. So if you have that blender or a big blender like that, it is completely possible to make smoothie bowls in it. Although it did work, I'm going to stick with my blender cups because um, it's a lot less to clean. It's one little individual cup instead of a big blender thing to clean for one person. But know that if you don't have blender cups, you can totally do it. And those were my three smoothie bowl recipes for this video. And I hope that you enjoyed watching this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because I want to know, do you like more tutorial type videos like this? Would you like to see more? And if so, let me know 
what type of tutorial you'd want to see. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video which is a normal what a eat in a day so I hope that you are all excited for that. Mm -hmm.